Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. Always Unisharp here with you. And in this video, we're going to see how you can integrate MLX text recognition into your application using Camera X. Let's get started. So here in the previous video, we saw how you can integrate Camera X. So we saw how you can request camera permission like the following and how we start this camera using like this camera provider, this one. We created the use case, we attached this use case alongside with the camera selector, then we start the camera. Keep in mind that Camera X is, have a lot of options, more than that, like using the flash, using some focus, you have more control. But we did like the simplistic part in order to start it. But in this video, I'm going to see how you can integrate it with what? With MLKit. So let's take a look on MLKit. So MLKit is a machine learning library for mobile development. It has a lot of use cases like face detection, barcode scanning, for example, text recognition, image labeling, like many things. So we will take as an example the text recognition as a use case, but they are similar in a way they are coded. So we are going to take this one, text recognition, and as you can see, it allow you to do text recognition on any Latin-based character. So it has this architecture, it will give you a block, and each block there is some lines, and each line there is some element, and it will give you the coordinates for each one. Right, so if you want to show it, you can show. We are not going to show it here because it requires some view things. We are just going to print them, but you will get this all of this direct the bounding box and everything. So let's check it for Android. First of all, of course, you have to integrate some dependency. Let me copy that. Let's go here to the dependencies and add it below. Sync it. Awesome. Now here, the way on how to do the text recognition will depend on your app. For example, if you want your app to take an image for the camera and then do the text recognition, it means you are going to use the image capture use case for the camera X. But if you want to do something continuous, like you move the phone and in that moving part, you will see the text getting recognized. That's a different use case, it will be image analysis. We are going to use the second one, but it's just the same, all right? So first of all, we need to create an image analysis use case. As always, we will do like something like following image analysis use case. We do it as a function, build image analysis use case. Let's create that function and it will give us image analysis, like the following. Let's put it here, go back to this one, copy that and paste it here. That's for start the camera, that's awesome. Now, the second part is creating this one, like to return an image analysis and there's this builder and you can start building yours, let's do the build and that's all. Okay, so there's multiple options you can do here. And also there is multiple options you can do here to the preview, like the size, the target resolution, for example, the aspect ratio, this, these are important things. So let's go back here to the image analysis. There is multiple things. There is image queue depth, like this is back pressure strategy, for example, there is the output image format. There, there is multiple things you can do for this image analysis. But one of the main important things is this one, back pressure strategy, because this one will give you images like each, I don't know, one millisecond, two millisecond, I don't know the exact number, but how you can deal with that when analyzing. Let's say, for example, the image is giving, this image analysis is giving you like two images per second, for example, and your analysis part, the algorithm, like doing the filter or analyzing the text, will take more than that. Then how you can cheat the images in between? Like here, you need to set the back pressure strategy. I'm going to set the strategy to the latest. Let me just check it. Back pressure strategy to the latest. Keep only the latest. Yeah, so it is here, this one. So this is how you can set it. But now you have to pass it also the image analyzer, which is the important object that we do the analysis thing. Like you do it and check there is some text, or for example, applying some filter and so on. So here, after that, you will do it like set analyzer. Here you will need the executor. And here we're going to use this executor we used before. Right, we put it here, and we need what we need an image anal analysis analyzer. Now, this object must you, you must implement this interface. So we define it here below. Let's create a class, or let's just create an interface. Let, let's create it first as an object and see how we can work with it from there. Object like following image analysis dot what dot analyze this interface, and you need to override one method called what called analyze. It will give you that image proxy. And from that, let me do that. Okay, that's a good one. Let me, I will do it at the end. Let's put the also here. Let's clear the code a little bit, like the following. It will give you an image proxy. This image proxy represents the image at a given time. The first thing you need to know that in order to let Camera X give you another image after the first image, you have to close it. So after completing with your image, just close it like the following. 
So yeah, I know this unreachable call because you have to, to do, but you have to do it in order to let camera X that you have completed processing the previous image and I need another image. Yeah, so that's that's about it. Now, now here I'm going to use the image dot image. This is the image, but let's go back to camera or let's go back to ML kit, how to use it. So first of all, we need you can use this optional thing to let you configure to download ML model from device. Okay, that's an optional thing, you don't need it. Here is the part. So we need an instance of text recognizer. So we need that instance. Let me check. We can copy that. Yeah, please let us define it. I don't know here, for example, private late init bar recognizer. It will be text recognizer. I think this one. And let me just give it that recognizer dot this one. Sorry, default option and so on. Okay, so this is how you can set the recognizer. Now, with this recognizer, we need an input image. And in order to create your input image, you do it like following input image that from, there is multiple ways you can create it. As they are showing here, you can create it like from media, from, I don't know, from image here, from URI, from byte buffer, for example, there's multiple options. I'm going to use it from media. And here I'm going to do it the image dot what dot my image. This one, I'm going to do double here, double bank. And the second one will be, and the second one will be the rotation degrees. Also, you can get it from here. You can do image dot rotation dot image, I think. The image dot image dot, no, the image dot image F. Yeah, not rotation degrees. So this one is saying like the type mismatch. Okay, so I'm going to do this one, double bank. I'm sure I'm having this one. And let me check here. There is it's something declaration is opt-in, so I need to have to do something about the following. Suppress it like that. And that's all I'm going, I'm going to have my image here. Let me just make it as Im input image. And then using that image, we'll pass it to MLKit. So this recognizer, we'll do like following and we'll process something. The process here, we'll give it an image. As you can see, you can give it a bitmap directly with the rotation degrees. It will give it like following. The rotation degrees is important because we need to know how the image is like laid out because if you pick the phone and do it in the landscape but the image is like straight it would be somewhat looking like that so it needs to know which degree we are on so it can do the text recognition correctly otherwise it won't detect anything so after processing we have to add some listeners because this is a task because this task as you can see it will give us tests so we have to add success listener and so also some failure listener and inside those we can use some like Cool routine things from Kotlin. We will see that in a minute. Maybe you can do it. On the success here, it will be an et, it will be a text. And this text contain text block on which each text contain like an element. Like for each text block, if you can loop on it, like for example, get the first one. What you have here also is some text, which is a string. Okay, and there is some line. So as they said, there is a block and each block contain a line and each line contains some. I'm going to print everything. Print len object just out. Print what? Print the text is dollar it dot text. Okay, so it print everything. Yeah, and it dot. So it images. Ah, exactly. There is a problem of if it added. We'll clean the code in just a moment. Give it a minute. So here in the it, this one would be the the analyzer. So let's just set it analysis like following and then this it will be the text let me just put it here and we can clean it like following so it give us something like that and yeah we should like markets like the following and that's it that's it i'm going to use my phone here in order to show you a demonstration hopefully it will work so here the app we have here let me just put the lock at here so you can see it also let me just do the system my phone here and do the system debug. Yeah, let's go. So let's go here. I'm just showing my phone here. Now, as you can see, this is text. I'm, I'm not showing you everything. So here is the image I'm having right now. As you can see, here is the image. There is some text in here. There is some text here. And we don't know if you are detecting something or not. We are detecting nothing. So there is a problem. We are detecting nothing here. Let me just check what we missed. So in the image analysis, okay, I'm going to use the build. Okay, analysis, we added this one. Okay, it works fine, I think. Yeah, uh, there is some, maybe there is some problem here. We didn't know. Let me check. Let me just print the exception. Let me just try it again. Maybe now it will show us 
why you have this problem. Internal errors has occurred when executing MLK tasks. Okay, so you can see we have an internal error. Now there is a problem with MLK right here. I think the problem is ours. We did something problem. Oh, okay, we closed the image before, I think. Yeah, I think we should close it here. Let's run it again. Maybe this time it will work. Like exactly, it is working. So if I do the text, as you can see, let me just show you. This is Mad Publicity Agency. As you can see, Mad Publicity didn't write it well. The text is, as you can see, it is working like the number, like this one, like the email. I don't know if it is working correctly or not. So as you can see, it is doing that in real time. Okay, if I move the phone, for example, here is the text. If I do something like following, my phone here is in landscape. As you can see, it's detecting nothing. Why? There is a problem with the rotation degree. Okay, so we need to be careful here. As you can see, detecting something like a problem here. If I do the separate one, it will detect it correctly right now. As you can see the number, this one, the email, the Gmail, and everything. So if you want like publicity agency, here is the number of my, my cousin. Yeah. So this is it for how you can create the image. Now the problem were here, like we were closing the image before getting the result back. So that was the issue. So let's clean this a little bit because this nasty code, right? You can't, you can't use it like that. Yeah, it's working, but we have to clean it. So we can set this analyzer in, in a separate class. Let's create that class for us. Let's call it, for example, yeah, create class. Let's call it text. Text analyze, analyzer. This one and this will have to implement image analysis. Dot analyzer, like following. Implement this one. And here we need to analyze things. We need just to copy and paste all the thing here. There is the image, right? We need to do this one. Put it here. So the image input, we need the recognizer, of course. Let's get it. Yeah, I think we can initialize it directly in the beginning. Yeah, so let me just those there is multiple options you can set set it with this one let me just delete it in it and put it to file like that there is some other options i think like latin there is latin and chinese yeah there is some options you can use here also for your use case and let me just bring this also you are making a mess but it will work soon just give it a minute and you can delete everything here like that yeah but we have to do the analysis just give me a minute it dot set analyzer, of course, with the camera executor. And here we need to create this object and pass it. And let me check private late init bar text analyzer. It will be this one. Let's create it here. Can create it directly, but I'm trying to use this one. And here we will just pass our image analyzer. Well, now it will analyze things and it will just print them here. If we do it like following, run it back, here is the image. Let's check if it is printing it. Exactly, it is printing it and it is working. This is just a simple way to do some refactoring in order to extract this logic. But there is a problem in which if you want to show this result, if you want to communicate back this result to where, to your activity, so maybe you want to draw some boxes around it. Here, well, there is some solution to that. Like you can define like state holder, state flow, for example, here, and it will be just emitting the results back to the activity. Like so some simple thing that would work, yeah. Here we can use some coroutines in order to do this process, but we need to have some depend uh, to add some dependency. Let's add it here. There's this one implementation. Sorry, this one. If you do that, let me check if we can have a superior version. Yeah, we can have it. Let me just use that version in order to demonstrate that. If you do that, you can do something here called the await, and that will give you a result directly here. And using that result, of course, you can do like normal text block and check the result you were getting here. It will be here. And you can do some try and catch in order to see if you have fail or not. But here you will have to use like a coroutine scope. You can create your coroutine scope or pass it like you can have something like following coroutine scope and you can use it here. Let me just check it. Coroutine scope, like flash it here. And then using that result, you can like set it in here in the state flow, for example, and just push it back, okay, and collect it from your activity, and that would work, but I will just print that, okay? Let me delete all the code. I won't do any try and touch. Text, text, that would work. We need just, we need this coroutine scope. Like, you can pass it here, for example. Pass coroutine scope, let's, let's create, let's create coroutine scope. For example, let's create with one, 
the dispatcher from what? From the main, no, from the default. If that would work, let's run it. Let me check the lock at. There is exactly no text until I move my camera here. So that would work and it is working correctly. You can pass your specific routine scope or I didn't add the dependency for adding the life cycle scope or something. And you can observe the result basically on the resume or when the life cycle is resumed. Okay, so that would work also. You have many options you can use when coming to threading and this option. So it depends on what you are doing. If you want to show it, if you want to just detect something and do some action based on that, like it depends on your option. But that's at least for me on how to implement. So let's recap a little bit. So we did some request permission in order to get the camera permission that we started the camera. When starting the camera, you have to supply it with what? With your image analysis use case or all the use cases, like the preview use case and image analysis use case. We built that preview use case in the previous video, like following. We just attached some preview view on it. And for the image analysis use case, you have to set some back pressure strategy and the analyzer that we do the task of analyzing. You can define it here, but you can extract it into separate class, but you have to deal with how you can communicate the result. If you use like an anonymous object here, that would work and you can communicate everything, but that would be like a huge code. So you have to separate that little bit. Like there is some, there is a lot of improvements we can do here. For example, we can extract this image analysis, like a, an abstract concept called, called analyze, in which it will use that image analyzer. That way we can test this application. For example, we can supply the text analyzer via a dependency injection manner. So that way, maybe we can, not maybe for sure, we can test, we can unit test that behavior of analyzing by submitting a fake text analyzer. Okay, that would be a huge work to do, especially when to mock this, when to mock this camera X. That would work, that for sure would work, but to be a huge work to do. So make sure you have understand the basic here, like the analyzer, how to analyze things. Like here, I passed the routine scope using this await function, but you can use the previous way, getting the image and setting the its rotation degree. The rotation degree are important. And here for the text recognition, you can basically swap it if you want to do barcode analysis or image analysis, for example, face detection. It will be just the same. You have to process some image, get some result, and interpreting the result would differentiate between that use case. So this is it for this long video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always, and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.